here at the St. Louis Artists Guild for the It Was All Very Queer exhibition, juried by Brendan Fernandez. This exhibition focuses on regional and uh, national queer artists within the LGBTQIA community, working in a variety of media. You can see painting, drawing, sculpture, fiber work, um, all in one exhibition, highlighting a minority within our community that's not typically represented. The importance behind this exhibition was for us to give a space for regional and national artists within the LGBTQ plus community, um, a space to exhibit their work, but it's also important to dive in to the work that they're creating um, because it's not genuinely shared um, as much as what we would think in the art world. So focusing in on this group of people and exhibiting their work, which is sometimes not fully represented, allows these artists to exhibit their work in a professional gallery, but also uh, let their voices be heard. Some of the themes explored in the exhibit, some artists are focusing on being a queer artist in the community and how that affects them emotionally. Some take a more political approach to their pieces within the exhibition. Some are focusing on um, some sexuality issues. Um, we hope that viewers, when they come see the exhibition, walk away realizing that queer artists within the community here in St. Louis and nationally are exhibiting great work and have work that should be seen. Um, we hope that viewers that come in um, take a piece of um, away from the exhibition that makes them feel proud to have these people within our community. Alongside the It Was All Very Queer exhibition, you can also see a selection of work from the Transcending the Spectrum exhibition by the Metro Trans Umbrella Group. The theme behind their exhibition is to showcase regional artists here in St. Louis that are part of the LGBTQ community and try to get money in the artist's pocket and also help the organization. And our third exhibition on display is Pretty Paper Playthings by Amy Firestone Rosen. The work in that exhibition features prints that are done through monotype techniques with um, collagraph and screen printing combined to create these paper doll layouts on a wall format. You can check out all of these exhibitions until July 17th, and you can find more information at www.stlouisartistguild.org.